my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So hopefully you've all seen my video on the printable transparent sheets. I absolutely love them, they are fantastic. As I said, they were inkjet and they were glossy ones I was using. They also do matte ones that are available. As I said, I was using GM Craft ones, but you can get them from eBay and Amazon. You can get them for the inkjet and they come in both glossy and matte. So the glossies are clear and the mattes look a little bit like they're frosted. They're all really, really beautiful. GM Crafts also do glossy and matte for laser and I had an idea and I tried it on my live and it worked but it needed a little bit of tweaking. So my idea with the laser was could we foil with it and the answer is yes but there are a few slight things that you need to bear in mind with doing it. So we're going to go through that today so you can see I've got my two designs here. I've put them against white squares, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to flatten this one, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to flatten this one as well, just to let you know that this font here is Samantha, and then my Mr. and Mrs. on both of them is Modern Number 20, and then my and on both of them is Abraham Lincoln. So we're then going to go to make it. You can see it comes up on separate mats. That's okay. We're just going to keep the excess and use that another time. So we're then going to go to continue. So I'm going to send to printer. I'm going to send it to my laser printer. Now if you've flattened it, you don't need to worry about if your bleed is on or off because it's going to print your text, but of course it will only cut out your shape, but that is only if you have flattened it. So it doesn't matter about your bleed, but I'm going to turn mine off anyway, just because I prefer it off and I'm in the habit of doing so. I'm then going to go to advanced options. I'm going to go to preferences. I'm going to go to paper and I'm going to make sure that my sizes are at A4 or the correct size of my material that I'm putting into my laser printer. If you don't do this, it will print out really, really small. So make sure that your sizes are all correct. We can then go to OK and we can then print. So this is the self-adhesive laser printable sheets. This is the glossy. There is a glossy side and a matte side. You're going to print on the glossy side. Once it's printed, I go to browse all materials. I come all the way down to other and I choose adhesive sheet double sided so we can click on that and then we can go and let the machine do its scanning and then it can cut. So you can see that these have now both printed out so we can add them to a green mat. So it dries instantaneously and I cannot scrape that off with my nail but I'm still going to go in with a fabric brayer or non-stick roller just to make sure. Of course if you want to use a scraper you can but just be a little bit on the gentle side. Personally if I was going to go in with a scraper I would cover it with some felt or just a light fabric first, just wrap it around the scraper just to give your material a little bit of protection. So as you can see with this one, 
we've still got some of our paper backing on here now it's actually not a big deal because it has cut our adhesive film so we can just peel that off however i just want to go around and snip away the paper if you haven't got a falling machine you will need to use a laminator this is just a cheap one they work absolutely fine the whole point of the laminator is it's a low and slow heat and of course it works really well with heat activated foils I use the Art Deco foils, I get them in tubes but I was informed last night that you can buy them in sheets of 20 and it actually works out cheaper so that's well worth bearing in mind. You will also need a sheet of A4 paper folded in half. So we're going to place our clear laser filmic within the sheet of paper. We're then going to place our foil over it. We're going to fold over our A4 sheet and we're then going to place it into our laminator. So we're going to let it go through for a first time and then a second time and then we're just going to let it cool down. Whilst it cools down, we're going to process our second filmic laser printed image. We can then place our foil over our image and close up our A4 sheet. And again, we're going to place it through on the folded side once and then for a second time. Whilst that's going through, we're going to come in and we're going to gently remove our foil from our first one. And you can see that that has foiled beautifully. We can then come in and peel this one. And again, you can see that that has foiled beautifully as well. So you really want this to go on a clear item. This is what makes it really special. And this is also where this becomes slightly complicated. With the foils, you cannot use transfer tape. It doesn't matter whether you leave it to dry for 10 minutes, an hour, two hours. It does not like transfer tape. And that is clear transfer tape and paper transfer tape as well. So it does mean that you're going to have to manually move it. So you want to go in with a weeding tool and you're just going to pick up a corner piece just very, very gently and you're then going to get a pair of tweezers and you're then going to pull up. Now you'll see that on the other side it is still black. Now you will not be able to foil on the adhesive side. You can only foil on the non-adhesive side. So you will not be able to mirror with this. It will need to go on the front of a clear item. So using your fingers as minimally as possible, you're going to just grab a corner and very gently place it onto your item and make sure you're happy with the placement and you only want to place the first edge. You're then going to get yourself a fabric brayer or a non-stick roller and you're going to roller as you're placing your filmic down. Unfortunately, my camera blurred at this point and I cannot show you the footage, but it will help you to avoid air bubbles. So just let your roller adhere your filmic and just keep placing it down piece by piece and let your roller do the work for you. Once you've placed it down, you can then go back in with your roller and just give it a really, really good roller and make sure it's nice and adhered and you've got no air bubbles. If you have, just keep rollering them out.